If you have a computer and a camcorder with RCA output, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can live stream with a $15 budget. Apart from your computer, camera, and internet connection, you also need other items like the RCA cable, a USB video adapter, and the OBS software. You can get the RCA cable for $5, the USB video adapter for $10, and the OBS software is free to download. You can check the links to these items in the description section below. Before I start, if you are new here, consider subscribing and turn on your notifications so that you'll be notified each time I release useful videos like this on tech tips and tutorials. Without further ado, let's get started. First of all, I will explain the structure of live streaming. One, you need a camera to capture the event. The camera I will use for this tutorial is the Sony SD1000, which has a RCA output. You can use any other camera that has the same output. Two, you need a device that will convert the audio video signals from your camera into your computer. Here, I will use the Easy Capture USB video audio adapter. Three, you will need software installed on your computer that will stream the audio visual to a social media platform. OBS Studio will be great for this. Finally, you need to have an account on any of the social media platforms. In this tutorial, I will use Facebook. Okay, the setup goes this way. You connect the camera to the Easy Capture adapter with the RCA cable and then plug the adapter into your computer USB. If you are using Windows 10, the adapter will self-install. You don't need to do any additional installation. Before you open the OBS Studio, make sure the Easy Capture adapter is already inserted into your computer. Next, open the OBS Studio if you have already installed it. If not, go to their website and download it for free. Run the downloaded file and follow the instruction. After that, you can open the OBS Studio. You might wonder why going through all this to live stream when you can do it directly from your smartphone. The answer I will give you to this is that with this kind of setup, your live stream will look professional, like you can capture clean audio from a noisy environment, add a logo, interlude, intro and outro, insert text, graphics, play background music while live streaming. It's just a very good way to take your live streaming to a whole new level. On OBS Studio, Create a new scene if one is not already there. Add a new source by clicking the plus button and click video capture device. Give it a name and click OK. While on the properties of the new source, change the display to AV2 USB 2.0. Automatically, the feed from your camera will appear on the OBS Studio screen. Then to add the audio as well from your camera, Add the new source by clicking the plus button again and then click the audio input capture. Give it a name and click OK. On its property, change the device to microphone 2 AV2 USB 2.0. Now that you are getting the audio and visual feeds from your camera, go to your browser, go to facebook.com slash live slash create. Click on the Create Live Stream button. Select the Use Stream Key option. Copy the server URL. Go back to OBS and click Setting, Stream, and paste the server URL from the Facebook on the server input. Do the same with the Stream Key and click Apply OK. So to start streaming, click the Start Streaming button, then go back to Facebook. You should be seeing the feed from your camera. So when you are ready to go live, 
click the go live button to start the live streaming. You can see the live tag on the video and the end live video button on the lower left corner of your screen. So right now you are live. If you like me to make a video on how you can add intro, logo, graphics and others into your live streaming, let me know in the comment section. If you are trying this out for the first time with this tutorial, kindly share your experience and your camera model. If you are not yet subscribed to this channel, click the subscribe button and turn on your notification so that you'll be notified when I upload useful videos like this on this channel. If this video was useful, please click the like button and don't forget to share with someone. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.